Hello everybody, Squidish here. Welcome back to WTF is this loadout. Now today's loadout comes to us from Big One 87 and it's a bit of a weird one. No actual guns involved, but you don't really need them. But you've got such cool equipment as the freaking deep freezer. This gun's a bit of a weird one. It charges up and then fires a blast of frozen stuff that well, it freezes people. It's pretty much a nice gun. It can't actually kill anyone, which is a weird downside to it. But it can do some monumental freaking damage. Look at this hit right here on this mighty. Yeah, that's right. Two 100s. It did 200 damage to weaken them up for shurikens. Once the enemy's frozen, they're easy pickings. And since we're running the burly, it's not hard to clean up the mess. This guy's got it all. Heavy dive bomb damage, heavy nice damage, and the ability to take some hits. So while you're laying down the freeze, you can jump around and you're not going to get knocked off by a couple stray bullets out of someone's assault rifle. It's, it's still a bit of a weird set, though, not having any sort of conventional weapons to actually do battle with. Now, there's a bit of a lull here. I'm going to answer a question a lot of you guys have been having, which is why don't I take full loadouts or more parts of my loadout, etc., etc.? Well... A lowdown Gotham City Imposter is a lot of freaking parts. And if I were to take all of them, I wouldn't have enough time in the whole video to talk about the fun facts and the rampage and the support item and blah, 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 blah. Not enough time. Two weapons, a gadget, and a body type takes up most of my time. I'm thinking about changing it to gadget and support item, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That'll open up a lot more options for variety, as opposed to just the five different body types, so there's not really too much to say. But, with that said, our friend the glider rig's back. And just as face smashy as it was before. Now, I don't have any completely awesome double glider justice clips like I did before, but that guy would not have died to that shuriken if I hadn't landed on his face before I hit him with that. Now, the burly with the glider rig can do some serious work. Since damage is based on your body type, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. And that is a good fucking thing when you're trying to large splash on somebody's face. Which, by the way, the burly, the glider rig, nothing but splash damage weapons. Slow down to the large splash. I know, I know. I even amaze myself sometimes. But all those things together, even with the face smash, still need the witch doctor to really bring this loadout into something you can actually use. Now, the Witch Doctor was added in the most recent paid DLC for the game, the Steamy Punk Pack, and this thing's pretty damn amazing. It's actually cut a lot of flack on the forums for being overpowered. Now, regardless of what you think about whether the weapon is or is not overpowered, it is fairly situational. The bolts shoot pretty slowly. Look at this. You can literally just watch it. It just got to my target. It was like a full two and a half, almost three seconds of travel time. They're ridiculously slow. Uh, 28's not a big number to be putting up. But what it does do is once it starts landing hits, it lands them fast. And since you can put a bolt down on an objective or in a cluster of enemies, or at your own feet even, and it will just hang out and continue to taste people, it is extremely powerful in the right situations. Extremely powerful. Especially in fumigation. Throw out thing of some gas blasters and watch the fucking magic happen, kids. Now, as you just saw there, that's a little interesting aspect of the deep freezer. I froze that guy, did not finish him off, but I still got the kill. Sir, I'm gonna need to ask you to dive bomb on this witch doctor bolt for me while I explain this. Thank you. Um, once you freeze somebody with a witch doctor, they have two health. While they're frozen, if anything hits them and they die, it's considered your kill. If you froze them, it's your kill. Unless they manage to unfreeze themselves, at which point they simply run around with two health and then whoever gets them gets them. And see, the Witch Doctor. If you can plan it on people that don't know or are unable to get away from the bolt, the weapon's a freaking death ray. Dang you, don't die when I'm trying to- Stop it! I'm trying to kill people! Fucking fine. I'll just reload my deep freezer. Rampage and then walk out the door and freeze bitches. Seriously, if you can land shots with this deep freezer, it is ridiculous. 200 damage on a direct hit is monumental, but the thing has to charge up, and it's not very forgiving. It is a super skill-based weapon, but if you can get the hits, it's just justice time. And the Witch Doctor is a post-mortem kill machine, it really is. Now, playing a set with no real guns, 
provides its own challenges, like I've said. But with the fucking death ray of the Witch Doctor, and the icy justice of the Deep Freezer, and the ability to just splash on people, shoot the ground, and swing a knife wildly, it's workable. It's totally workable. And you think you're gonna stand on a health station, son? That's what the Witch Doctor was put into the game for. Now, gentlemen, weapon, weapon, body type gadget. Let me know if body type should be switched to support item. Tell you, tell me what you think in the comment section below. My name is Squish. Drop a like if you like. Thanks for watching.